Hey everyone, the classic Wrath of the Lich King pre-patch just hit the PTR servers, which means it should go live very soon, in a couple weeks most likely, and of course a few weeks later followed by the expansion itself, which will release on September 26th. In the meantime, we get to try out everything that will be coming with the pre-patch on the PTR servers. I explored around a bit on there and let me tell you, there's some insane stuff that you can do during the pre-patch. Some of it you may need to prepare for in advance, so I figured today we'll be exploring seven insane things that you can do on the pre-patch. But before we get to that, let me introduce you to an awesome game which you can enjoy while waiting for Rat to release, which is today's sponsor, Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. Bloodline is a mobile RPG set in a traditional Western fantasy world with visually stunning 3D realistic graphics, and it allows you to relax yourself and have easy controls on a vertical screen. Bloodline offers a unique gacha gameplay. You can choose your path by raising heirs with true companions from a vast fantasy world, and you can customize your champions by marrying different bloodlines until you find a unique combination of any powerful abilities out of dozens of traits that suit your own need for gameplay. The possibility are endless here. Bloodline also offers a light sim type gameplay where you can build your own kingdom and economy, which is pretty cool. Let's talk characters. One of my favorite ones is Karg the Dragonborn. She's a stunning looking melee who can turn into a dragon and AoE everyone around her, and she also happens to be available for free just by logging in. There's also Lycan, a vicious fighter. His lineage, the Lycanus, is a must try and they all look amazing. And how to forget the Fulgur, aka the demigods. Those guys simply kick ass. In Bloodline, you can switch the gender of your characters for free, level up and unlock tons of free companions, and increase their intimacy to get more and more powerful offspring. Speaking of offspring, when you marry your champions, you can keep developing the family tree until they inherit the best traits from their parents. And as a bonus, Bloodline is also offering the half dragonborn half demigod heir for free. So what are you waiting for? Get Bloodline now for free by checking the link in the description or by scanning the QR code shown at the top of your screen. Screen, and use promo code BLDHOL1 to obtain one champion token and 100 diamonds for free. So no more waiting, get Bloodline now and meet the heroes of Lithus. Thanks to Bloodline for sponsoring this video, and without further ado, let's get back to Azeroth. So, the first and probably most important thing to most people, which will be absolutely insane on the pre-patch, is how broken most classes are. And when I say broken, I don't mean do a bit more damage here and there. No, most classes are completely nuts to play on the PTR, and you will love it. The most obvious example of this is of course warriors, fury warriors to be exact. If you've been actively raiding, I hope you've thought about putting a couple two-handed weapons in the bank, because if not, start working towards that now. Fury Warriors on the pre-patch with two two-handed weapons are just insanity. And it's not just Fury Warriors. Most classes get some crazy new toolkits and those were definitely not designed to be used in TPC content. Which is why playing just about anything feels so fun and broken right now. Oh, and of course, there's Death Knights. Never seen a level 70 Death Knight in Sunwell? Well, trust me, you'll see a bunch in pre-patch. And they absolutely blast. Speaking of Sunwell, here's a log of a pre-patch Sunwell well on PTR. And uh, yeah, never seen a 2 minute 50 second kill Jaden before? Well, now you have. This goes to show how absolutely broken each class is and what happens when you give the rat class toolkit to fight TBC content with. Well, some crazy stuff happens as you can see, and it's insanely fun. So when prepad drops, do yourself a favor and do a raid, any raid, and look at your numbers tripling overnight. It will definitely be a sight to see and it won't last for long, so you don't want to miss that. That. Second, let's talk leveling. So, as you may or may not know already, for a couple weeks now, everyone in Classic TBC received this buff, the Joyous Journeys. This applies to anyone below level 70 and allows to gain 50% more experience from pretty much all sources. This, on its own, is a pretty big deal and will have you level up considerably faster than you normally would. But what you probably don't know is that this buff will persist throughout the pre-patch. It will disappear once the expansion releases of course, but for the whole duration of the pre-patch, it will still be there. And the thing is, the pre-patch itself 
also brings its fair share of speed increase to leveling. Just like it was the case in TBC, when Wrath releases, Blizzard wants you to get to max level and experience endgame about as fast as you would have in Classic or TBC. The thing is, there's 10 more levels now, so this means they need to make going through Azeroth and Outland faster. And they did that in original Wrath by many different means. Decreasing the XP needed for each level, increasing the XP each quest gives, making a lot of quests faster to do by changing them from elite to solo quests, and so on. And all of that will be coming with the pre-patch. So that, combined with the Joyous Journeys buff, will mean that leveling through Azeroth and Outland will be fast insanely fast. I haven't tried it thoroughly myself since the buff isn't active on the PTR for some reason, but just leveling through the starting area you can clearly feel a big difference. Now that combined with the buff will mean that you'll be able to skip entire zones probably. For example, no need to go through Kalimdor as a human anymore. You could go from Elwyn to Westfall to Red Ridge, Duskwood, STV, etc. and next thing you know you're level 70. So yeah, the point is, when pre-patch drops, leveling will be insanely fast, and I would definitely take this chance to level as many characters as possible. If you ever thought about trying something out in Wrath, level it in the pre-patch. It's the best time to do so. Next up, let's talk gold. Now, it's no surprise that gold early on in Wrath will be very, very valuable. There's a ton of gold sinks at the start of Wrath, from your double specialization to your flying skill to your Dalaran rings, Tundra Mammoth, and so on. So really, every penny you can save will be a huge help. Now, here's a mistake you definitely want to avoid doing, not just during the pre-patch, but also throughout Wrath. Never ever buy your fast flying skill, that being Artisan Flying, you know, the 5000 gold one, from Shadow Moon Valley. If you do, you'll be spending the full 5000 gold price tag on it. Instead, head to Honorhold or Thralmar, and right there, you'll see this new Mount Trainer sitting there. The special thing with this trainer is that his faction shows Stormwind or Orgrimmar, meaning you will be eligible for reputation discounts from him. And yes, that includes Artisan Flying. If you're exalted, this will bring the price down from 5k gold to 4k gold. Now, I know 1k gold is a big deal for some and not so much for others. But if 1k gold isn't a big deal for you, think about all the gold you'll be saving with this one trick across all your current and future characters, especially considering what we talked about a minute ago, where you'll want to level a bunch of characters in pre-patch. You'll be saving a ton of gold with this one tip. So remember, always buy your skills from Honor Hold or Thralmar. To stay on the topic of gold, here's the next crazy thing that will be happening on the pre-patch. Or rather, not happening. Dailies during pre-patch will still give the same amount of gold. If you don't know why this is a big deal, I'll get to it in a second. But first, originally, when TBC transitioned to Rat in 2008, every day daily in the world saw its gold cut by a considerable amount. We're talking more than 75% less gold. And this makes complete sense. You don't want players to be doing Keldanas across 5 million characters and just drowning the economy in generated gold. Well, it seems like you still can in pre-patch. If you've watched our video about how I'm making 10,000 gold per week doing just dailies, you know how crazy this makes this method. Remember at the start when I said classes are crazy strong now? Well, this means that you can throw pretty much any character you have at these dailies and you'll be clearing them in a fraction of the time I said it would take in that video. Also, fast flying is 1k cheaper now. I strongly encourage you check this video if you're looking to make a lot of gold before Wrath releases, because it's still working on the pre-patch. Naturally, once Wrath releases, the gold you get will go down, and that's pretty much confirmed looking at the beta. But this is another take advantage of it while it lasts situation here. To finish up, here's some miscellaneous things that I discovered. First off, for some reason, innkeepers across the world look like they're selling Wrath quality food and water. And trust me, this food and water is gonna mean you'll be fully recovered in the blink of an eye after a pull. Stack up on it and take advantage of it. This honestly feels like drinking a potion, or rather three potions in a row. Next, here's one weird thing that we're very much not sure about. If you go to Blasted Lands, then head to the Dark Portal, you'll see that the Burning Crusade pre-patch event is active there. You know, the quest that allows you to get the Tabard of the Protector. This was not the case when Original Wrath released. This Tabard was only obtainable during the two weeks that TBC pre-patch 
lasted. And whoever didn't get it then, didn't get it ever in retail. Well, it seems like Blizzard wants to give players another chance to get this for some reason. Again, this is very weird and it might just be a bug, but if it's not, go ahead and get this tabard because it will be going away forever probably. And finally, here's a super funny and insane bug that the community discovered. If you log into TBC and go to Nax, log out, then copy your character to the PTR, then log on the PTR, your character will spawn in Dragonblight. And you'll temporarily have this buff that says you are where you should not be. This is very funny, but why I'm telling you about this is that if Blizzard doesn't fix this, then you will be able to teleport directly from Azeroth to Northrend using this method once the expansion drops, skipping the need to go through a boat. Just log off in Nax before the expansion releases, log back in and you'll be teleported to Dragonblight. And this is a bigger deal than you think, because this time around a lot of people have an incentive to reach max level first, the around first level 80 achievement. And I feel like this bug is gonna make or break your speedrun there. So yeah, if Blizzard doesn't fix this, you'll see a lot of people logging off in Nax before the expansion releases. And with that, that's about everything everything I have for you today. Those were 7 crazy things that you can do on the pre-patch. The way classes feel is definitely in my opinion the craziest part of the pre-patch, and it will be a lot of fun to do sun well with 25 players who have toolkits they're not supposed to have. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the Classic WoW Curios channel for more content like this. My name is Numidia and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye for now.